Hey guys, it's Morgan from the CheekyHomemaker.com, where we cook, clean, stay on budget, and journey through motherhood together. Today I'm going to show you a quick way to turn a simple store-bought Easter basket into something beautiful and special that you can keep for decades to come. Make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video. I'm going to share some of our family traditions that I think you may find fun. Also, this is a special video. I am taking part in the scribbles from Emily DIY Spring Challenge. So what that means is a bunch of us have gotten together and are doing Easter themed videos and they will all be linked on a playlist below. Um, so you should check all of those out. There's so many fun and inspirational and creative things that people are going to be sharing. So I have two daughters, so I have two Easter baskets to show you, one of which I have done nothing to yet, and the other I have finished uh, adding some embellishments to. So I just used some fake flowers and a few butterflies here, and I think it turns out so it's much nicer than just leaving everything plain and the way it comes from the store. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's so easy. So I try to make sure I source things that I can link for you guys, but this was a project in the making. I actually had my last daughter just before last Easter, so I had collected a few things and never put them together. So I'm sorry I can't link the exact items I have, but I did all the legwork for you. I did link below a bunch of items that are very similar to these. They will work just as well, if not better. So let me show you what I have. I have some of these cherry blossom flowers, and there were a lot more to this, but because I did go through decorating one of them to make sure I knew what I wanted to do before I filmed this. It's a little cut up. And then I have a couple of these, I don't know what sort of flower this is, but just these little guys here. And the butterflies, I, link, I will link some below that are similar. Um, Amazon has a bunch of choices, but these actually have a little sentimental value. They are the decorations from my baby shower for my first daughter that my mom uh, put up. And the only other things that you're going to need are a pair of wire cutters or a pair of scissors and some florist wire. Florist wire is so thin you really can just use scissors. So if you don't have wire cutters, don't worry about it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with the longer ones and I'm going to go up both sides and you'll see that I wrap as I go. One on each side, they'll meet in the middle. And then you'll see me just look at which direction I want the rest of the pieces to go. And I wrap everything with the florist wire and just try to conceal it under some of the flowers. So I'm gonna get started. All right, so as you can see, I cut off the tails to the wire as I was going. I ended up needing three pieces to span the whole handle. Now I'm going to start adding some of the smaller pieces, and I'll have the directions of the smaller pieces meet where I put that large butterfly so it's kind of seamless. So as you can see, I decided to add some flowers down at the base that I went ahead and put on at the same time as I was attaching these so that I didn't have any more wire than necessary. Now I'm going to wrap the wire around the back of my butterfly. I do have a clip on here, but I feel like wrapping it on with wire is stronger. I also don't like hot glue for things like this because I plan on keeping these for a long time. They will get bumped a lot, especially while they're in storage. So the wire, the worst that happens is it gets a little bit bent out of shape very easy to straighten out. So I'll just wrap it around the back of the clip and then secure it to the basket.
there you have it, the finished product. So simple, so easy to do, but I think it just makes it look so much prettier and I know my daughters are going to love these for years to come. All right, now the traditions that I promised you. So for our family, how it works is the girls know that we own the Easter baskets. They're something that live in our house year long and come Easter, the Easter Bunny fills them and hides them somewhere in the house. So Easter morning, they know that they get to get up and look around the house and find their Easter baskets. The older they get, the harder the hiding places are going to become. That's how I was raised. I think it just adds a special little touch. I'm so curious to find out what your traditions are for the Easter Bunny in your house. So leave some comments below. If you're new here, we should be friends. If you liked this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the little bell so you'll get notifications when I post new videos. And please share, share this video. You can also find me at thecheekyhomemaker.com as well as on Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram at The Cheeky Homemaker. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye. So the Easter traditions. So the Easter tradition. Now to talk about our family Easter tradition. Shut up. I can't say the word traditions.